the first 10 of those 40 acts selected to perform tonight. And for the winner, there is $250,000. One act will get the golden buzzer and go straight into the finals. And Mel, you happen to have the golden buzzer tonight. <laughs> Mel has that power. I'm not just back. I'm back with a golden buzzer, baby. Of course, she could use it to put one of her own acts through or take an act from one of the other judges. You better not. And our audience voters will also be having a say tonight. They are here representing the people of America, and their votes will put five acts into the next round. Tape face. You're just going to do your act, baby. I love you, tape face. I love the art direction of this show. Thank you. Oh, oh yeah, this is you? you yeah. Yes! I stood there, I didn't sing, 
I felt like a Spice Girl. <laughs> Dream team. I haven't had a great night. I'm gonna be honest with you. We don't get Wait till again. you look at yourself. Back at this, you're just gonna. <laughs> so, I, unfortunately, Mel won't be joining us for the rest of the series. Oh. But I just want to say thank you so much for I've coming back out with for, band, for the one night, Mel. It's been brilliant to have you back. Tip face. You really took my mentoring, literally. Well done. We don't get food again. Oh man, that was absolutely incredible. Like, what are you doing? And then you were like, oh, this. Simon, yes. <laughs> I know. I didn't know what to do. Hello, Billy. Hello, Emily. Hello. How are you? Very well. Good. I'm very excited. You look a little bit nervous. Yes, we are putting a lot on the line tonight, so um, the nerves are there, but it's all good. Good. Good luck. Thank you. Now you're going to see men three. Here we go, guys, clearing stage. They better be good. You've coached them. Honestly, feel this is what the show is all about. Simon, very lucky to have you in his squad. I gotta <laughs> say that this is one of the most dangerous, exciting standout acts we've ever had in God Talent history. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Can I just say this was spectacular? It really, really was. You really like this act, don't you? Like them. I love them. 
but you know what? Guess who has the golden buzzer tonight? No, you can't. I guess that helps the Mel B Dream Team. You're now part of my team. You're part of my team now. Why is she up there? Billy and Emily England. Mel B has given you the golden buzzer and taken you from Simon's Dream Team. They're going right to the finals, y'all. Whose team is it? Mel B. <laughs> Emily, how does this make you feel? I feel really excited. <laughs> I feel amazing. Honestly, um, when Simon called me, the 11-year-old Emily was a little bit upset. I really wanted to be part of Mel B's team. <laughs> Oh, that's show business. Take that! I actually feel like I've just been dumped. Give it up one more time! Careful, careful. I'm so happy. Why would you do that to Because me? I can. <laughs> I'm like rubbing sore in the wounds. Whose team are they? I got dumped in front of everyone. And they weren't even unhappy. Hey, everybody. This is a song. It's just going to be a massive hit that we Why does it You are the unbeatable! 
I can hardly breathe, man. I have to say, I was screaming a lot. And um, how many are there of you on stage? We are 30 people over here. 30 people and yeah. one girl. Girl powers holding her own. Yeah. Yes. Simon, what did you think? What did I think? I think this was a step up. I think the fact that you put your title on the line to come back to try and win this it says so much about you because this was world class. The audience is going to vote. Only six acts go through tonight. Good luck. Them. I would have stolen them. You know, you're going to hear, I think, a very, very different Cody from what we're used to. Good luck. <laughs> Just remember what I said, Cody. You've got to imagine you're number one in the charts right now. <gasps> and you are performing this record. You're allowed to mentor right up to I didn't know that. I didn't know that either. I didn't know that we could go up on stage you and mentor. You didn't ask. <laughs> well... golden buzzer tonight and stolen one of your teams who were very happy to be on my team. So Cody, if I had that second buzzer, I would be buzzing it right now. Yes. Send you straight through to the final round. Oh my God. Well done, Cody, you're a legend. Thank you. <laughs> Honey. It's a different vibe that you give 
giving us and I'm liking it. Love the song, love you, and that was perfection. Thank you. <laughs> Howie. I also am upset that I don't have a golden buzzer tonight because I would want to steal you so badly. <laughs> and tonight to hear what you can write. I, I don't think there's going to be a problem with this audience choosing one of the five. I think that's already just made their choice right now. That was amazing. <laughs> You know, Cody, you continually surprise us in a positive way. For you to come back and write yes. a song and perform a song which sounds current yeah. and relevant, and you performed it with such passion, um, it shows what a great, great, great artist and person you are. And I'm very proud to have you on my team. It's up to the audience voters to see if you get to the semifinals. All right, are you ready? Heck yeah. I only oh. have one act today. I know who I would choose, but who they would choose, I don't know. Yeah. Took my chances. Is that a map? Yes. So many times. I've got to tell you something, Chris. I, I think one of the most boring acts we ever have are pole dancers. However, you've completely changed the way I think, or well, certainly for me, because you do something completely different. And we've seen some great performances. This, I believe, is her best one we've ever seen. Absolutely. Thank you. You took us like on an intense journey and I didn't want it to stop and there was always something going on. I don't think that could have gone any better. That was really bloody good. Thank you so much. I don't know why you stand around and you wave at everyone like you had anything to do with what uh, she uh, just did. Thank you, wish you the best of luck. I wish it was up to us because I would say that was a winning performance, but it's up to the audience. Best of luck. Thank you.
Thanks, Christy. Honey, I'm home! <laughs> Hello! All my friends are here. And my friend of me, Simon. Hello, darling. I love him. I missed you, baby. I missed you, too. You're not in one of your moods tonight, no, are you? No, okay, I'm in a good mood. Thank God, mood. thank God. Oh, Hans, you didn't win last time, and it is redemption time. I'm doing it for you, I'm doing it for me, and I'm doing it for Germany tonight, Heidi, yes. Yeah. Yes, honeys. This is Liberace's original piano. Is it really? Okay. I know, that was my idea. Thank that you. is really cool. Did you do anything like that for your rights? No, <laughs> but I will. Okay, here we go. I was just a fight when I was fine. Raising cane, I spit in your eye. Time has changed, another poor get fat. And the fever's gonna catch you when the bitch gets back. Oh, wow. All right, America, are you ready to get this party started? Evening on Friday, and that's all right. I hear a light stick on a Saturday night. I can bitch the best that your soul should do. I get high in the evening, sniffing pots of blue. Whoa, whoa. Come on, AGT. Let's rock and roll. Eins, zwei, drei. The bitch, oh, the bitch, oh, the bitch is back. Stone cold sober, as a matter of fact. I can bitch, I can bitch, cause I'm better than you. It's the way that I move, the things that I do. Whoa, whoa. Let me hear you. So cold, sober, as a matter of fact. Heidi, bring out the accordion. The way that I move, the things that I do. I know you love it, Simon. From one bitch to another. The slump is neither here! Yes! Yes! My cheeks are hurting me because you bring so much joy to the stage. Oh, what did you think, Simon? Uh, look, if I'm being honest with you, if you can't sing, you can't dance. Oh. <laughs> if I can't sing and I can't dance, when am I taking over your job, babe? Look, it might not be my cup of tea, but we look for things that are different. And this was... Very Heidi. And very Hun. Thank you, darling. Oh, oh. Am I going this way? Just come on up here. Watch your step here. I love him. Oh my god. I like big butts and I cannot lie. You walk around this cat team now. They want a girl walk scene with an itty bitty witch and a real thing in your face.
I do. Simon? Well, that was genius. No, really, because weirdly, it made you realize how difficult this is. It did. It, it, did. Really, it genuinely did, you know, because sometimes you don't want to see everything. But actually, by seeing everything, it made it even funnier. Shadow Ace is out of the shadow. And you know, what's great about your act is, you know, whether you're older or if you've got the mentality of an eight-year-old, Mel, for instance, I mean, do you <laughs> <laughs> did you like him? Can I just say, I could not stop laughing. You Same. brought me so much joy. Yes. Just bashing Howie's head over and over. I loved it. I absolutely I mean, it loved it. Thank you so much. I mean, you've had 230 million clicks online before. I think you will double it with this performance. This was better. The song choices were genius. Yes. Everything was genius. I want to wish you the best of luck. Thank you so much. Thank you, buddy. It was really, really good. a surprise I wasn't expecting it I hate to say this but that was a very very good choice of song yes. here's the thing it's five acts to go through I thought what I watched is very good but I don't know if it's great what? That's well the good thing is it's the audience that is voting you know it's not him so please audience vote you have to yeah Thank you so much. Yeah.
I'm on standby, ready for the flight. Good luck, my love. I believe in you. I remember how it all started. Hi, Mom. I'm back. emotional artistry we just witnessed. Yeah. Heidi, what do you think? It's amazing how you create emotions with sand. Thank you. And how one morphs into the next piece of art. You are an amazing artist. Thank you, Heidi. Yeah. Mel. I don't know, I just, I was a bit lost at one point. But there's no denying that what you do is spectacular. It just didn't get me like it has done before. And I've seen you do your act before. I tell you what is amazing about your act. No one else in the world could do what you can do. No one. And you never know what the story is going to be or what's going to happen next. I mean, it's incredible. Thank you, Simon. With this particular show, it's really not up to us whether you move on. But I am yeah. so glad that you are part of my squad, and I think you're going to move on. Let me 
tell you this. If you want to be great in this world, it's very simple. Surround yourself with great, great people. So I'm trying to be like all four of you. I guess if we're going to do a trick, if I'm trying to be like you, I thought, well, clearly we'll start with some wine glasses, apparently. So there we go. I also uh, I have a deck of cards. And these cards right here are in what's called new deck order, which means the cards are in order. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm gonna take the uh, ace, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10 of spades. And I'm just gonna take them and set them in the wine glass right in front of you, Simon. I'm now gonna take the ace, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And I'm gonna walk these on down to Howie. Here you go, Howie. Take those cards, just shuffle them. Shuffle? Give them a quick mix. Take half those, okay, and hand them to Heidi. Yeah. Now both of you just kind of mix up the few cards you got. You can put some on the bottom, some on the top, some in the middle. Perfect. Howie, hand them on down to Heidi. All of them? Yeah. Okay. And if you want, you can give them a quick shuffle or just pass them on down to Mel B. Here we go. All right. Shuffle them up. Do what you got to do. Look, I used to want to steal greatness from everybody around me so that I can get accolades and awards, hit milestones in my career. What I realize is I'm a dad now. Now I'm trying to surround myself with greatness so that I can take it home and share it with my little girl. Be the dad I never had, be the best dad I can possibly be. So, Mel B, take those cards and hand them to Simon. Thanks. Simon, you're the last one. You're gonna take if you put it on the bottom, cut them, shuffle them, do nothing. This is up to you. You feel good? I'll take them. You happy? You good? Here are the diamonds that you all mixed up. And you know what? I'm gonna put these right here. Um, yeah, yeah. Simon, I'm, I'm gonna take these and I'm actually gonna spread them out so you can see the order that you shuffled them in. I'm gonna take my finger and just run it across the deck. Simon, just yell out the word stop. Stop. I'm gonna go straight down. Yeah. Right here. We got a four diamonds and I'm gonna reverse it. Stick it in the deck just like that. Square it up. And these cards are gonna go right here in this wine glass just like that. If I'm trying to be just like you, if you shuffle the six, I guess all I gotta do is find myself a six. But you all shuffled these cards. When I walked out here, I said, I'm trying to be like every one of you. So if you all shuffle the three, I guess I'm gonna find my three. You want an eight? There's my eight. You want a five, there's That's my five. Crazy. You want a seven, there's the seven. Man, surround yourself with greatness. Give the world everything you got. Simon, you picked one card and one card only. You could have said stop anywhere. You wanted a four of diamonds. Right in front of you, I thought, what the heck? Simon, there's my four. There's the tens. There's the aces. There's the nines. Man, it's a great day to decide to be happy, baby. My name's John Norwood. Peace out. I love you, man. I love you. Mel B chose wisely. Thank you. I tell you what, John, what you reminded me of is it's not just enough to have talent. You've got to have personality. Yes. You've always been an amazing performer. Compared to when I first saw your audition to now, this was you at your very best. I love you. Who you really are and the hurdles that you have gone through in life and what you have created for yourself and your family and that little girl out there, you are truly a champion. Thank you. I love you too, and I'm also very, very mad that you're not on my team. And usually, Simon hates card tricks, and not tonight, it seems not like. Tonight. No. Not tonight. Not tonight. I now love it again. I mean, what can I say? You're just incredible. Thank you for being part of my dream Thank team. Thank you. Yes! Rock on. Thanks for having me. I love you guys. Thank you. Thank you, John. The votes are in, in no particular order. The first act going into the semifinals is... Beat 
One down, four spots left. The next act going into the semifinals is... Let's keep it going. Three spots left. The third act going into the semifinals is... Now there are only two spots open in the semifinals. The next act staying in the competition is... Ksenia Simonova! Holly, you are on a streak. Amazing job one more time for Ksenia Simonova. <laughs> Let's keep it going. Oh my God. The votes are in. The last act going into the semifinals is. God, this is tense. Who is it? I'm on a streak. I have no idea. I can't hold it. Congratulations, Christy, you're in the semis. Howie, that is all four through to the semifinals for you. Let's hear it for your semifinalists. Cody Lee, Christy Sellers, Ksenia Simonova, Shadow Ace, and Be Unbeatable. Do you prefer working on America's Got Talent or Modern Family? Ooh, that's a good one. America's Got Talent. Wendy? That is true. That's true! Yes! Okay, there's really many <laughs> questions already. Do you see anybody in the audience tonight that you're interested in? That's it. That's it. Okay, I, I, I think she's done. Terry, Terry, Terry. Uh, I have a, um, someone here who, um, on the internet, David Vaughn. He wants to know, Terry, I need you to do a spin around for me so I can admire that suit. Oh. One too. Uh, Nicole from Ohio has made a shocking observation. Take a look. What is it? What? <laughs> oh, no! oh, that's brutal. Nicole. Simon, what do you think of that, man? Nicole, oh. that is spot on. <laughs> all right, okay. Look, as we all know by now, very occasionally, the judges disagree on something. Uh, Heidi, do those hand binoculars actually work? Well, my hand binoculars, they're just to cut out the light. So sometimes if they're up in the air and I can't see them well, I cut the light like this. I do have glasses, but I'm too vain Let's see to this. wear them. <laughs> I have glasses. 
Uh, can you see now? Is that, is, no, the, it's all good. It's all nice and fuzzy. No, this no, is I just... You might want to wear them when you're judging. That's for real. See, I wear. See, I don't know if I look so good in glasses. I, yeah, anyway. Now, Sophia, after Aaron flirted with you on the show last night, we got a lot of questions asking what you're looking for in a partner. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Uh-oh. Well, I think what every girl wants, someone... I am taken. <laughs> Someone healthy, yeah. someone handsome, someone that um, has a great sense of humor. I'm married! <laughs> someone that is happy with himself, that's it. Okay, okay. I'm married! Oh, he's married, oh, he's married, all right. So that's, that's me, Sonny Chatham. Yes. And that's the crowd loving me. <laughs> And you're loving me, aren't you? Aren't you? You're loving me. That's my Grammy. I think we need to move on to the performance now, Sonny. Okay, I'm sorry. That's all right. I'm sorry. No, we got it. Me. We got it. It's all good. Sophia, I want you to know, I, I have a lady friend already, so it's not, it's not romantic, my intentions, oh. but I, I just wanted to meet you and say, hi, I'm Sonny, and I just, I just respect you so much, and you're... Thank you, Sonny. You're just a strong woman, and... Can I say hi to my lady friend, Pete? No, hey, 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 is there a song? Hi, Pete, hi, Pete. I love you. Who? I love you. Yeah, we don't have time. Stand up, Pete, I don't want to see Pete. Where's Pete? She's not here, she's taking care of her mother. She couldn't come tonight. Oh, wow. Okay. Last night, we asked you at home to comment online about the show and the judges. Well, this was my favorite. Check this out. <laughs> Heidi, what do you think of this? <laughs> I like that. We do look like that. Ketchup. I and told mustard. you we did, and you didn't pay attention. <laughs> fine. We look yellow and red goes well together. Okay, yeah, Howie, did you have a good time last night? I had the time of my life. I had the time of my life, and I loved reading all of your comments. Somebody was amazed at the sacrifice that Big Bird had to do for her dress. <laughs> Amazing. Your oh, dress. man. Okay, he's brutal. He is brutal. Look, thank you, judges. People always ask why I need a service dog. I don't. You got me, I'm faking it. He has two primary services. First, he gets my beer for me. Hi, I love you. Good boy. Now number two, fetch me a girlfriend. You're ruining my set, you jerk. Go fetch Sophia Viagra. I'm here. I'm single. Oh no. Damn autocorrect. I meant Sophia. Vergara. Howie, did you push her buzzer? Is that what happened? We got a playback. We got proof. That's it. It was not me, girl. Let's show the tape. Show them the tape. I know. You're really? looking at me like, Run the tape. What? I would not press my what? buzzer in the semifinal. I don't know what. The okay. tape just showed you yes. press Heidi's buzzer. I'm What's sorry. going on here? What I'm is sorry. going on with you, Howie? I, I there is an invisible line right here. This is your sign. I knew what she was thinking. It's I knew what you were thinking. Am I right? Oh. Well, sometimes it did sound a little ee. It so, did, right. but. And I I'm do, here for you. But also, I don't know how it sounds at home, you know, because. Yeah. But I do. We're not judging home. We're judging here. And wasn't <laughs> sometimes, some, sometimes, uh, but not buzzer Howie, worthy. So that was think, on man. him. What, what do you? I don't think? agree with her. I thought it was fantastic. <laughs> man, I don't believe this. Sophia, straighten this out for us. Well, I, I think you guys sound very nice. The, I had, I was, I, I don't know. I kept waiting for Simon to ask for another song. I know. <laughs> I, I know. I, I did thank you. My name is Josh. I'm, f I'm from Nigeria. 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 He snuck back in. All right. What do you do? I'm the fastest rapper in the world. All right. Well, good luck. I hope this works out. Yeah. Check it.
Cheki. 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 Check your head, it's me, F it, it's me, do with him, and when they just move, feel like we should do with this, with them, and let me pick it, and with the whistle, over the window, some with the wind, with the with the fellow, what's that, I said, the all I know, ever since my face, it's me, get the hot. Was that the whole, was that the whole thing? I was, I was getting to the best part. I was, I was about to kill it. Why didn't you keep going? Keep it going, go, JS, go. Hand me, hand me, send me a Get the rhythm in the with 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 the. We finished. I was getting, I was about to hit the, Get to the best part. Oh, Yellowstone is a TV show about a cattle ranch ran by the bodyguard himself, Kevin Costner. Yeah, yeah, a man, a man, right? The writing is great, the acting is excellent, but the visuals of Yellowstone are amazing. Yellowstone, the park looks amazing. So imagine my excitement when my buddy Eric invited me to his wedding. Where? In Yellowstone. Are you coming? Oh, I'm there. I've been watching the show. The second I landed, guys, I got it. This place was so beautiful, so majestic. I understood Kevin Costner. Shoot, I became Kevin Costner. By the third day, I was telling people to get off my land. Get off my land! Sure, it was in the hotel courtyard, but that's the way that I felt. I couldn't stop saying, go on, get. You go on, get! You go on, get from that cucumber water, sir. You've had enough of our minerals. I don't want to hate people. They make me hate them. <laughs> I'm all about love. You feel that immediately with me. But I was on the airplane coming here, a woman in the seat behind me, she gets up and she starts spritzing cinnamon. I go, lady, what are you doing? She goes, well, it's natural. I go, so is my butt, but I'm not putting it in your face. <laughs> I didn't want to hate her, she made me hate her. Do you see what's happening there? Yes. I'm a victim. I had a car accident recently, I'm all right, don't worry. <laughs> Young guy, stoned out of his mind, on his cell phone, music blaring, looked a lot like you. Gets out of his car, you know, with the man bun? Dude, I don't know what happened, dude. I'm like, oh, what happened is in 1999, your mother forgot her birth control. Oh! That's what happened, dude. This is Barbara Walters, and today on my show, I have award-winning actress, Natalie Portman. Natalie, I hear you're having a baby. I am Barbara. <laughs> We're thinking of naming the baby Oscar, but that's, that, that's silly because that's my cat's name, so. Hey, y'all, it's Molly Cyrus. What's up? Okay, good. What, Dad? No, I'm not going to clean my room right now. Want me to clean out your bank account? <laughs> You know the problem when you go to a nursing home and you look like me? Yeah, they wouldn't let me out. <laughs> the only reason I'm here tonight is I had to get a night pass from the front desk. <laughs> the first thing I found out when I got old is that young people hate old people. Oh, is that right? No. 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 Really? Did you ever drive behind an old person? <laughs> Does this look familiar? Yes. <laughs> yeah. The worst thing I'm experiencing now at 80 is that my hearing has gotten awful. I'm talking to this woman the other day, and she tells me she has a peanut allergy. Right, I misheard the word. I said, what happens? She said, I start choking and gagging. I'm not from California, but I look like I am. Just another wobbly guy on the sidewalk. <laughs> I made eight bucks walking over here. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, can you guys see this bracelet? Yeah. yeah. Good. Uh, just making sure. Yeah. 
Uh, <laughs> everybody always thinks that this is one of those copper magnetic healing bracelets. Like, hey, does that thing work? I'm like, oh yeah, man. I was in a wheelchair last week. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm gonna put it on this arm next week. <laughs> I better take it off soon, though. You know, I don't want to get too better. <laughs> might mess up my show, and then I have to figure out how to be a magic singing ventriloquist or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just say we're not getting a puppet on that thing. Oh, my God! And I worked at this grocery store for a lot of hateful years. Why is it when you hate your job, they won't fire you? <laughs> and now look, I worked in the worst department at the grocery store, not the meat, not produce, not the freezer. I worked in the steel department. You familiar with the steel department, right? Self-checkout lane? I got paid to watch people steal all day. And people think you stupid. Like, you know when they're going to rob you when they're bringing up their stuff, they always got to look back up at you. They're like, boop. This one dude tried to humiliate me, like I knew he was gonna rob us because I'm looking at him, he's looking at me, I'm like, just steal it. <laughs> but he, try, he tries to play me in front of the entire store while he's ringing his stuff up. He makes the beat noise with his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't even do it right, like you gotta act this out, go all in, raise your pitch at least. He's like, <laughs> I Like the produce is not even supposed to make a sound. <laughs> You're beeping unbeepable stuff. A motorcycle. I don't like telling people I have a motorcycle because every time I tell someone, they always got to tell me a story about how their friends crashed on a motorcycle. You know, like, why do people have to be so negative? I don't go up to pregnant women telling them my dad left. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so annoying. So annoying. I walked at my apartment one time, right? I walked at my apartment and my neighbor walked up to me. She was like, oh my God, you got a motorcycle? Are you stars? Are you stars? You better be careful. I got in a car wreck the other day. My car flipped eight times. I'm looking to be alive. Blessed, right? Yeah. She black, by the way. <laughs> Everyone around us was like, you know, that, was, that is crazy that your car flipped eight times. You're alive. You are blessed, you know? And I'm, I'm over here thinking, who the heck counted, right? Like, Who's that calm when their car's flipping in the air? Ah! What? Like, who's doing that? <laughs> My name is Preacher. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. That's, That's it. it. That's it. No, we need more. We need more. Uh, Holly, last night you were brutally honest, and that didn't sit well with a lot of people online. Right. Uh, Right. How do you respond to that? Um, I'm not responding to them. You but, should apologize. <laughs> you know what? The competition was brutal. The, and, and last night, we had the highest of highs and then some incredible, for me, personal disappointments. And we are here, and we are all paid to be honest. I am brutally honest. That's why it was brutal. Good luck to everyone. But you sometimes are also grumpy. I'm not grumpy. Yeah, okay. <laughs> And also, I'm, I'm translating. She said, grumpy. Okay. Well, you they know what? Me. This is a good sign. Listen, Sophia, a lot of the judges, you guys disagreed on a lot of the acts last night. Why do you think that was? Um, well, we, well, first of all, we have different tastes. And we, we all have the same taste. Some of them don't know what, they, <laughs> what, they, what they're supposed to know. Uh, I know everything grumpy? we know. <laughs> How is grumpy sometimes, and Simon is sometimes loco, so if there's <laughs> nothing... I admit it. I do admit it. Some of my charts, I can't explain why they're true. I just know from experience this is what's going to happen. Here's the locker room at my gym. I am the blue dot. I walk in. I start to get changed. The minute I get all my clothes off, 12 guys walk in, and this is where their lockers are. <laughs> that is so true. <laughs> It defies statistics. Sometimes statistics sound scary, but it's not when you look at it from a different angle. When I first got married, I heard 44% of marriages end in divorce. That's a scary number. Think about that. 40, my wife and I are like, do we stand a chance? Think of the other side. If 44% of marriages end in divorce, you know what that means? 56% of marriages end in death. <laughs> Till death do us part. <laughs> Those are the two ways that marriages end, folks. 
If, if you're married, enjoy it now. It does not end well. <laughs> you do jokes, I do impressions. I got it. I could do jokes. I'm sure you could. Could you do an impression? Yes, yes, I could do an impression. Go ahead, do it. What? Do it. <laughs> do it. <laughs> All right. I will do an impression, yeah, and then you tell me who I'm doing. Okay. All right, let me think. King Kardashian. What? <laughs> you are tweeting without thinking. Donald Trump. It's a crapshoot. Crapshoot. Mm, come on! <laughs> All right, now listen, I have an impression. Okay, I am not a professional. It's fine. All right, tell me who this is. Ready? Yeah. Who's this? <clears throat> I did not have sexual relations with that woman. Elton John. <laughs> I just got the citizenship. Yeah! Until I got my citizenship, I never had a road rage. <laughs> if somebody cut me off, I'd be like, oh, so sorry. I was driving too slow. <laughs> but the day I got the citizenship, somebody cut me off. I'm like, what the heck? You can't cut me off. This is my land. <laughs> That's when I realized I become true American. <laughs> oh, that's great. He's hilarious. Because I felt entitled. <laughs> oh! Before the citizenship, somebody hold the door for me, I ran really fast. I'm like, thank you so much. After the citizenship, I'm like, uh, you hold the door, you peasant. <laughs> I got sassy. <laughs> I love it. Password is magic. Did you okay. just look? No, not at the. Are no. you guys talking? No. <laughs> Freak. Magic. Yeah! Yes! Yes! Magic is the correct <laughs> word. That is cheating. Who heard him tell me the word? That's that cheating. That means that you were cheating already. <laughs> They're Hidden cheating because they heard you cheated. Yeah. Right. All right, nice. this is the I'm final sweating. clue. The we clue? are actually tied at the moment, <laughs> and we are going to start with Howie. The okay. password is... Ready? Million. Dollars. <laughs> million. Oh! He's right! Thank That's you very it. much. This is a true story. When I was 10 years old, my parents sent me to Tourette's camp. Yeah, that's where the joke should end. <laughs> it's a real place, and I didn't realize it till this moment, but I found out that when other people twitch, it makes me twitch more. <laughs> so on the first day, they put us in a circle with 100 kids. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> the kid next to me did a shoulder roll. And my Tourette saw that and took that as a challenge. And I threw him a head flop. The girl next to him did a full body twitch and everybody saw that and all hell broke loose. <laughs> teach you how to do Ryan Reynolds, but first you have to do Jim Carrey's voice. And in order to do Jim Carrey, just imagine yourself as a giant Canadian bird, okay? <laughs> Hi there, judges. Uh, I have some voices for you. <laughs> Take that Canadian bird down to a sexy whisper, and you have Ryan Reynolds. Hi there. I have some voices for you, judges. <laughs> I hope you enjoy them. <laughs> that did sound like Ryan Reynolds. Oh my God. Okay, here's how to do Seth Rogen's voice. Yeah, take Santa Claus's laugh. Hoo, hoo, hoo. 
Now imagine Santa Claus eats a different kind of cookie. <laughs> this is a crazy job. I just lay down chimneys and I deliver packages to kids and eat their cookies. <laughs> now you can do that. It was very hard on me growing up. He used to call me a huge waste. <laughs> you see, both of my parents wanted me to become a lawyer. Never even came close to becoming a lawyer, but I was once involved in a suit. <laughs> but I've since traveled the world. Went to Spain, fell madly in love with a Spanish sundress. <laughs> and we broke up and I was pantalones. Yeah! I love him. But I'm happily married now. Aw. <laughs> My wife and I are Polly. It's polyester. <laughs> Our daughter Capri. Brought home a pair of sweatpants. Hey, I want to be a supportive father, but I want to see her date someone ironed with a crease. This guy looked like he'd been donated. She asked if he could spend the night. I said, in my house, you'll sleep in separate drawers. There was, you know, we were deliberated a lot about whether we put you through to the final. I think Howie in particular didn't want you to be here. Ah, yes. And no. I said, no, you know what? No. I don't care what you say, Howie. No. They're going through to the finals. And you know what? I was right. And you know what I love about you? It's different. And it's yeah. difficult. Okay. And I like people who take that moment. And you took that moment. And we're going to remember yeah. you. For me, yeah. best act of the night, only two are going through, remember. You've got to vote. Howie Canada represent! Yeah, he's a liar, eh? <laughs> no, he's I'm a not. real liar, eh? The only la, thing la, I'm mad at la, is la, that you worked on la, Canada's la, Got la, Talent. La, you would have won la, Canada's la, Got Talent. La, la, you guys are so la, la, la. fucking good. <laughs> I'm kind of clueless, you know, but it seems to me kids today are a little bit entitled. Am I right? Right? Okay. So my daughter turns 16, and she says, Mom, I want to go to Coachella, and I want you to get me a hotel room. Oh. Yeah, I know, I'm like, you're 16, listen to yourself, a hotel room? <laughs> I mean, if you can't find a guy who can afford a van by now, I mean, really. <laughs> when I grew up, my mom and her friends, they partied 24 seven. You know, they always, always brought flasks on field trips. Okay, right? So, I go on my daughter's first field trip. I take my flask, right, Howie? Right. I'm not gonna get on a bus full of first graders sober, not, not whatever, okay? <laughs> I take out my flask, you know, I have a little sip. And all the other field trip moms, they just go ballistic. They're like, she's got a flask, she's got a flask! <laughs> you know, like I'm some kind of terrorist, right? <laughs> I'm like, calm down, Biatch. <laughs> I'm not driving this bus. <laughs> My Jamaican mother wants me to lose weight, but she doesn't know how to tell me. She's in New York, she comes to LA. You know how you see your parents, you become a child again? I'm like, oh my God, mommy! She's like, Jacqueline, Lord have mercy, you're fat. <laughs> Jesus, you are fat. What are you eating, people? <laughs> I don't like weight loss TV shows. If you love that show, The Biggest Loser, you and I can't be friends. <laughs> you know how that show works? If somebody's overweight, you lock them on an island, and they have to work out eight hours a day, seven days a week, and oh yeah, we're gonna make you wear a small spandex bra, and baby panties, and wear you on a scale, and for cattle, on national TV. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't you lose weight? Who's losing these contests? <laughs> you want to impress me, get a bunch of fatties and lock them in a donut shop. <laughs> The first one to not go into a diabetic coma wins. That's the show <laughs> I would support. I just got broken up with. It was an open relationship. Means you can be with anybody you want. I didn't know this. Apparently, the girl can also do that. <laughs> yeah, no, read the fine print. And my girl got the first person. I made the mistake of asking her this guy's name. She told me, you ever hear somebody's name and then know immediately that this person is a better lover than you? I was like, what's his name? She's like, Alejandro. I'm like, no! No! Alejandro! You, you, you couldn't be with uh, Eugene, you know? Or, or assignment? You couldn't do assignment. 
You couldn't do a Simon. You couldn't do a Simon. <laughs> listen, listen, if you're not laughing right now, if you're not laughing right now, your name is Eugene, all right? Every Eugene here is like, actually, I've heard they're pretty vigorous, okay? <laughs> yeah. So I, I met this guy, and it was a relief because his name was Alejandro, but his voice was Eugene. <laughs> Straight up, he comes up, he's like, hey man, how's it going? I'm like, much better now. <laughs> I'm the type of guy, ladies, that will offer you my jacket. If it's cold outside, I will offer you my jacket. Uh, but I'm not the type of guy that uh, once you turn that down, then uh, you get cold later. <laughs> <laughs> Offers off the table. You, uh, you obviously make bad decisions, and uh, we shouldn't both suffer for that. I just found out that I might need glasses uh, for reading. So I had to make the hard decision, you know, to stop reading. Uh, I got colors and shapes down, I'm pretty good. I got silhouettes made out. I knew I was getting older, by the way, when I started rooting against the kids in scary movies. Friday the 13th, Halloween, teenagers do something stupid or rebellious, but you still want them to make it. You want them to live. You're like, run in the barn, he's coming, run in the barn. <laughs> now I'm like, your mom and dad told you not to leave the house. <laughs> How did I get into this? How do I make noises? I don't know. I grew up making noises. I can't stop it, man. <laughs> when I was growing up, I lived next to an active runway. My father was in the Air Force. So that meant every few seconds, <laughs> That was me. My mom wasn't prepared for that. Why is the six-month-old baby making noises? <laughs> now, later on in life, I learned that these sounds can get you in trouble. I'll give you an example. On an aircraft, this is what I did. Not allowed to do this. <laughs> Don't do that on a plane, man. If you go, they're going to think it's real. I did that. <laughs> Freaking cart! Ow! Don't do that. I'm 34. I don't look 34. I, I don't look any age. I just look like I've been through stuff. <laughs> and 34 is a difficult age because it's not old, but it's old enough that the world's changed. Like, I, I'm old enough to remember time was you saw a fella with a neck tattoo. Well, then you thought, oh, I'm about to see a dead body. Now you see a fella with a neck tattoo. All you think is, oh, this latte is going to be amazing. <laughs> and, and, and you got to do things to stay young. I, I do things to stay young. I, I recently borrowed money from my parents. <laughs> For those of you who never borrowed money from your parents, the crew will know this, the celebrities will not. <laughs> you have to gather your parents together and go, hello, mother, father, you know how you're supposed to teach me responsibility? Well, you failed, and that comes with a hefty fine. <laughs>